Welcome to the author's YouTube channel, Cursed Legends. Here you will dive into scary stories and creepy pasta about vampires, witches, and ghosts. Any feedback on the videos you watch is important to us. Have fun watching. In the silence of a dark night, as the moon revealed its mystical secrets, a strange roar echoed through a small village in the middle of a dense forest. The villagers had heard it before, but no one could tell exactly where these inhuman sounds were coming from. One day a young boy named Alexander, or resident of this village, decided to solve the mystery. He was brave and inquisitive, but the village old-timers warned him against his intentions. To find out the truth about the screams near the village, However, youth and determination overcame fear, and Alexander set off. As he delved deeper and deeper into the dark corners of the forest, Alexander began to notice strange footprints on the ground. They led to an abandoned church that stood at the edge of the forest near the mountains. Going inside the church temple, he found red wine and an empty bottle there, and on the ground were red stains of unknown origin. These footprints led down into the dungeon of the church. With a shiver in his heart, Alexander went downstairs. Finding himself in a dark room filled with the mysterious light of candles. And then in the corner, he saw him, a tall man in a black cassock. With long black hair and a pale face. This man, named Vladimir, turned toward Alexander. His eyes glittered with a red light and the smile on his face was so skillfully played that it could make even the bravest men tremble. You weren't supposed to come here, were you? Vladimir said in a husky voice. Now you're going to have to pay the price. Alexander staggered back, realizing he was trapped. Vladimir told him his story. He was one of the oldest vampires living on Earth, cursed for centuries. Settled in the church after it emptied a hundred years ago. He drank blood to live, and his eternal thirst brought him to this village. With every word Vladimir spoke, the darkness grew even denser, and Alexander's fear grew. He realized that his fate now depended on the vampire. Vladimir offered him a choice, become his servant and continue living as a vampire, or become his next victim. Alexander realized that his own life depended on this choice. Vladimir, like all vampires, was good at persuasion and could play on human feelings. He told Alexander about endless possibilities, about power and eternal youth, which vampirism gives. Two opposing feelings fought inside Alexander, fear and thirst for eternal life. But in the end, Alexander agreed to become a vampire's servant. From that moment on, he lived in darkness, becoming a nocturnal vampire. The villagers began to disappear one by one, and bad weather or wild beasts were blamed for their disappearance. But in the depths of the forest, that strange roar continued to resound. A harbinger of the dark power of the vampire that now held the small village in its grip. Alexander felt his human nature slowly fading away, giving way to animal instincts. He realized that he had become a curse for his kind, and yet he could not stop it. And it was no longer in his power to change anything.